This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some really important updates to share with you. The House has just passed a $40 billion bill to aid Ukraine. Inflation report just came out and it's slightly lower than the month before, but still really high. I'll let you know exactly what President Biden said about tackling inflation. And then I'll give you the Republican perspective of what a Republican senator said critiquing President Biden. You don't want to miss what he said. I'll give you some other updates like the $750 stimulus check, free internet from the White House, as well as some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button down below. So the U.S. House passes $40 billion in Ukraine aid package. Ukraine economy predicted to contract 30%. So since President Biden has taken office, about $4.5 billion in security assistance has gone to Ukraine and $3.8 billion has gone to fund Ukraine's war efforts since the invasion of uh, Russia in February 24th. So I thought that was a lot of money, $4.5 billion going to Ukraine, but now it's on a whole new level, $40 billion. So this just passed in the House. Not sure how it's going to work out in the Senate. We haven't seen uh, the Senate all for it yet. Uh, so the way the vote went out was 368 to 57. So the 57 were all Republicans. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is a lot. Let me know your thoughts on this. $40 billion. Uh, originally, it was going to be 33, then 39, now up to $40 billion. Let me know. Good idea, bad idea. Let me know your thoughts on that. Now, the extra big news here. So inflation barreled ahead at three point 8.3% uh, in April from a year ago, remaining near 40-year high. So this is coming from 8.5% in March. So down 0.2%, still really high. A lot of people are wondering, has it peaked? Are we going to go, are we going to see a downtrend? You know, let me give you some more information here. So the consumer price index, also known as a CPI, accelerated 8.3% in April, more than 8.1% estimate near the highest in 40 years, or the core CPI, sorry, which excludes food and energy also was higher than expected, rising to 6.2%. Shelter costs, which compromise about one third of the CPI, rose at their fastest pace since 1991, and inflation adjusted earnings continued to decrease decline for workers falling 2.6% over the past year due to surging cost of living. So not the best. It's, go, it's slightly going down, but still it's really high. And what is being done about it? So President Biden says inflation is his top domestic priority and lashes out at GOP plan. So President Biden had a rough time. He talked about inflation, had some rough q and I'm just going to show you a piece of the speech of what he said of what President Biden and the administration are going to do about inflation. Take a look at this video clip right here. Americans have a choice right now between two paths reflecting two very different sets of values. My plan attacks inflation and grows the economy by lowering costs for working families, giving workers well-deserved raises, reducing the deficit by historic levels, and making big corporations and the very wealthiest Americans pay their fair share. The other path is the ultra-MAGA plan put forward by congressional Republicans to raise taxes on working families, lower the income of American workers, threaten sacred programs Americans count on like Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, and give break after break to big corporations and billionaires, just like they did the last time they were in power, when their top priority was the reckless $2 trillion tax cut, going majority of that going to the very wealthiest Americans, which ballooned the deficit and not a penny of it was paid for. Look, I know you got to be frustrated. I know. I can taste it. Frustrated by high prices, by gridlock in Congress, by the time it takes to get anything done. Believe me, I understand the frustration. But the fact is, congressional Republicans, not all of them, but the mega Republicans are counting on you to be as frustrated by the pace of progress, which they have everything, they've done everything they can to slow down, that you're going to, will hand power over to them and enact so they can enact their extreme agenda. 
look at their agenda. We'll put up on a web page somewhere, I think I can do this, the Scott plan. It's in writing. We need a government focused on what families actually need. So I urge all Americans to think about the path I've laid forward. We're going to have to do more beyond what I laid forward. But then think about the Republicans in Congress are actually proposing. Which path is right for you and for your family and, quite frankly, for America? Let's build on the extraordinary process and progress we've made instead of tearing it down. Let's focus on what matters. It really, it really matters to average Americans. What are your thoughts on what President Biden said about tackling inflation? Is there more that he could do right now? Is it his fault? Is it not his fault? Was it happen? Was it destined to happen because of the economic situations of the world? Is it Putin's fault? Let me know your thoughts on all that down in the comments below. So let me give you the Republican perspective because I like to always see multiple perspectives and share those perspectives with you on this channel so you have a well-rounded perspective, not just one-sided. Uh, so Kennedy, if Biden isn't responsible for inflation, Jimmy Hoffa died of natural causes. If you're not familiar, Jimmy Hoffa was a uh, pension leader back in, I think it was the 60s or 70s. Uh, the only way I know about him is from the movie The Irishman. But if you're a little older, you probably heard of Jimmy Hoffa. Anyways, here is what Senator Kenny Kennedy has to say about President Biden's inflation plan. Louisiana Senator John Kennedy is a member of the Judiciary Committee, uh, who's probably an ultra MAGA senator, aren't you? <laughs> I uh, I listened to your to to your framing of the issue, Jesse. Uh, let me give you a couple of thoughts. I, I don't I don't mean to be uncharitable, but sometimes I think President Biden just doesn't eat enough fiber. <laughs> um, he 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 said today, for example, as you pointed out, that he bears no responsibility whatsoever for inflation. Um, I think most Americans are thinking, right, and Jimmy, Jimmy Hoffa died of natural causes. Uh, also, the stripper really likes you. Um, I, I mean, look, he, here's, the, here's the truth. Um, the truth is that the Biden administration just keeps kicking its own ass. The truth is, the Bi President Biden won the nomination because he promised not to be Bernie Sanders. Who has he tried to emulate? Bernie Sanders. After 14 months, we know that President Biden believes in bigger government, higher taxes, more spending, more debt, more regulation, a weaker military, open borders, taxpayer funding, funded abortion on demand, and turning cops into social workers. His energy policy, here's his energy policy, wind, solar, and wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. He thinks he can run the greatest economy, the most powerful economy in all of human history without fossil fuels. And that's one of the main reasons why uh, the prices at the pump are, uh, are, are so high. And, and the American people see this. They see that after 14 months, um, nothing is built, nothing is back, and nothing is better. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why when you poll it, the American people say, well, the country is headed in the wrong direction. And, and the president, he has no self-awareness, or at least the people around him won't allow him to have self-awareness about the real problem. He must know, logically, how to get out of this inflation spiral. You know, you stop the spending, the Fed's going to raise the rates, and then you unleash American energy. He must know that. Uh, but if he does that, then the left is going to go crazy and totally desert him. So he's kind of in a box. And it looks like he's chosen the left. Isn't that right? Yes, he's chosen the wokers. Um, look, he, he's, as we've talked about before, he's got to ignore the wokers. They are bizarre. They're one-dimensional. Um, what the president needs to do to get inflation under control and to get gas prices under control is very simple. 
He needs to turn to Congress and say, Congress, you've got a, um, you've got a budget. Live with it. Live within your means. Don't spend any new money except on defense and helping Ukraine. Instead, he's, a, he's proposed a budget with two and a half trillion dollars worth of taxes. That's, ca that's kerosene on the fire. In, in terms of getting control of energy prices, what he needs to do is say, look, um, we can't run this economy without fossil fuels. And I'm going to get my boot off the neck of the fossil fuel industry so we can return to being energy independent. We can add to, to the supply and, uh, and prices will come down. And he's done the exact opposite. Republican Senator Kennedy definitely has a way with words. What are your thoughts on what he has to say there? Do you agree, disagree? Uh, next, let's get into what benefits are gunning out of the White House here. So White House says 20 internet companies will provide effectively free internet to millions of Americans. So they announced this on Monday that 20 of the leading internet service providers have agreed to offer basic low cost plans that will be free for millions of Americans after a refund. So this includes a AT&T, Comcast, Verizon, uh, and more than 80% of the U.S. population will have access to this and the, uh, they will immediately provide at least one plan that costs no more than $30 a month and provides download speeds of at least 100 MP, Mbps. So uh, yeah, it looks like there's going to be affordable slash free internet. So it's going to be free for some, affordable for others. And then stimulus check update. A state has passed a payment of $750. So this is going out to Minnesota frontline workers. So nurses and uh, I don't know if they have the list here. Yeah, so it's kind of like a hero pay for frontline workers, $250 million plan, and 667,000 workers are going to be able to get that $750 check. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys, I didn't see you there. Uh, just so you know, you guys are so, you guys are, you guys are great to me. You guys are special to me. I need you here beside me. And you are so nice. Do you know why? Cause, cause you're so nice right now. You're giving me a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your time and support. So I published my pickleball video yesterday and it was actually the best pickleball uh, video on the channel. Uh, not the highest viewed, but the fastest, soonest, because I knew as soon as I played that game two nights ago, I said, this is the best game I ever played. I'm gonna publish it right away. And that video did really well, because uh, it was actually a really good game. So I have it here again, if you wanna check that out, if you wanna see a really good pickleball game, I'm just super passionate about pickleball. Anyways, if you wanna check out uh, that video, click up there and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.